Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning daily devotional. My sharing for today is entitled Finishing Strong. We can see this on 1 Corinthians 9, 24 to 27. I'll read this one. On verse 24, do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one receives the prize? So run that you may obtain it. 25. Every athlete exercises self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wrath, but we an imperishable. 26. So I do not run aimlessly. I do not box as one beating the air, but I discipline my body and keep it under control, lest after preaching to others, I myself should be disqualified. We all have race to run. This does not limit it only to the athletes. We Christians, we are also running. We run the race of faith and discipleship. Most of the time, Christians are being compared to someone who is in a battle or to someone who is in a race, or what we call spiritual battle. In this passage, Paul specifically compared us to someone or to an athlete in a race. We needed to finish strong. But the question is, what is needed to finish strong? Is it a good start? Yes, having a good start is important. But we must always remember that good start don't secure a strong finish. Hindi lang tayo sa pangumpisa. Hindi lang tayo sa umpisa malakas, sa umpisa masipag, sa umpisa ma-effort, na pagdating sa kalagitnaan, umaayaw na. Nakapag mahirap, sumusuko na. Nakapag maraming problema, Natatakot na tayo. We are not just good starters. We must be a strong finishers. If that's the case, balik tayo sa question kanina. Again, what is really needed to finish strong? I have four points here. Number one, have the purpose or the ambition. On verse 24, it says here that, Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one receives the prize? So run that you may obtain it. Dinagdag pa niya sa verse 25b, They do it to receive a perishable wrath, but we an imperishable. Why do you run? What is your purpose? Desire to finish the race. Because at the end of the race, we have a prize that is waiting for us. Sa mga atleta, nagtatagumpay yan. Kung magtagumpay man yung mga yan, meron silang trophy. Probably may pera pa or may mga medal. Na nakukuha. And according to verse 25b, those are perishable. Ibig sabihin, pwedeng maluma, pwedeng mawala. At ang sa atin, imperishable. Ibig sabihin, hindi naluluma at walang katumbas na halaga. That is for eternal life. That is for eternal glory. Win the race, whatever the consequences. Win the race, and then, um, kaya natin to. We needed to finish strong, and then, obtain it up until the end. Number two, participation or involvement. On verse 24, all the runners run. Let us all engage in the race. And you know what? You will never win any race unless you are participated in it. Hindi lang tayo basta watcher. Hindi lang ba tayo basta cheerer. We do not belong to the crowd. In doing God's word, we must participate in it. Get involved. Life group, get involved. Church gatherings, get involved. Ministries, get involved. Devotional, let us all get involved. Number three, we must focus. On verse 26, So I do not run aimlessly. I do not box as one beating the air. Proper concentration is very important. Paul now compare us to a boxer. That we should not box as one beating the air. Hindi lang tayo nagsasayang ng lakas. Hindi lang tayo nagsasayang ng effort. Because you know what? The enemy will try to test our focus, to lose our focus. And do not let the crowd distract you. Because sometimes, ang mundo ang nagiging kalaban natin. We have social media, we have entertainment, lahat ng yan nakaka-distract. Let us not lose our focus. And we must always remember to fix your eyes to Jesus. In that way, you will never lose your focus. And for the last one, we have discipline. On verse 25a, sabi dito, Every athlete exercises self-control in all things. Sabi pa sa verse 27, But I discipline my body 
and keep it under control, lest after preaching to others, I myself should be disqualified. You know what? An effective disciple requires constant discipline. Alam niyo po yung mga atleta, bago sumabak sa race yan, meron silang training, merong proper conditioning, meron pang proper diet. Tayo mga kristyano, ganun din po tayo. Okay? Feed yourself with the word and have a healthy spiritual life. Do not let your flesh control you. Kasi madalas, yung flesh, yung weakness natin. Learn to control the appetite of your flesh. And you know what? If you are not disciplined, you will just abandon the race. As for my conclusion, do not abandon the race. Make every effort to finish it strong. Not just to finish it, but to finish it strong. Every day, we are one step closer to the finish line. I know it's hard. The Lord never say it will be easy. Ngayon ka pa ba susuko? It is worth it. And the goodness is, sa journey mo, sa pananampalataya, sa journey mo na ito, hindi ka nag-iisa. You have your life members with you. And the good news is, the Lord will not abandon you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for this wonderful opportunity to study your word. May you continue to bless us, to protect your people. May we all finish the race strong, strengthen our faith, and we bring all the praises and highest glory to your name. Amen.